Hi, I'm Jim. Today it's the 1st October and we're celebrating the 5th anniversary of the record 10 hours by the band 1st October. It's a project started by Rapscallon and Andrew Huang, both very famous YouTubers and musicians. It's scary how fast the time passes you by. I remember like it was yesterday when they released the first record. What can I say? The future is bleak and we are all going to die. <laughs> the production on 10 hours is tight. It was handled by Rob Russia. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your surname. He's the ex bassist of the new metal band from Zero. Check them out, great stuff. There is no loudness work here, no clipping. Everything is mastered and mixed perfectly. Message is diverse, the songs are about various stuff like friendship, person, struggles, relationship issues, social dilemmas like the track Don't Go To My House, Rollerblading, etc. Also I forgot to tell you when I started watching Raps and Andrew's content. It had to be years ago, like 2015, maybe 14 even. It was such a long time ago, I'm so old. Structure of the tracks is basic, it's usually an intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. Sometimes it's slightly different, and when it comes to the music on this record, it's a hybrid of sounds. We have rock, pop, midwestern emo, punk, funk, metal, there's just everything on this record. Also you might be wondering, how old am I? Well, in a couple of years I'm going to be 30, and I am already suffering from dementia because I forgot to tell you the most important thing about this record. It's called 10 hours because they've recorded and wrote every song in just 10 hours. And the band is called 1st of October because every 1st October they gather to record and write new album together. The record starts with the song Woo! Woo! Doo -doo -doo -doo. And the first thing you're going to notice about it is the drumming. It's stellar for the entire record. Both of Rap and Andrew are playing drums. I don't remember who played on which song. I should have watched the video and not listened to the <laughs> album normally. So yeah, the drumming is perfect, we have some cool groove, some tempo changes, it's all in time and in sync, love it. Then you have the bass work, it's mostly by rap I think, and it's tight, it's audible, we have some crazy bass lines here, nothing like Primus that will happen on the next albums, but yeah, it also works in the context of every song. Then we have the guitar work by Rap and Andrew, and I love Rap's guitar noises, you know, those crunchy guitar riffs, and Andrew brings more of an introspective vibe when he's playing the guitar, love his melodies, everything just works here. Finally we have the vocals, and Rap's vocals are funny, he's like singing, shouting, yelling, it's all fun. And Andrew's vocals on the other hand are just beautiful, he sounds like an angel on these songs. So going back to Woo Woo doo 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 <laughs> This is the opening song and I love it. It's funny, it's short, it's only 30 seconds long. Love the change in the middle, it's so somber and quiet compared to the rest of the song. 8 out of 10. The next song can be stopped on this one. Andrew is singing. This one sounds so nostalgic and familiar for some reason. Love the guitar riffs, the emotions and the vocals, the chorus, the bridges, everything. 9 out of 10. Two Friends is a funny track with rap on the vocals. It's my second least favorite one here, but I still enjoy it because of the <laughs> lyrics. So 7 out of 10. Don't go to my house. Now this one has slight old school punk vibe to it. The vocals are done by rap and he's actually amazing at them. Especially that line, get out of my house. <laughs> I love that stuff. 9 out of 10, Don't Go is sang by Andrew and it's my favorite song here. It's so emotional and nostalgic to me. Love every single second of this one. Go check it out right now. 10 out of 10, Rollerblading. Now this song I think was written by Rap because he likes to rollerblade. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that shit, but I cannot say roller for some reason today. I don't know why. This song is a banger. It's not perfect, but I love Andrew's vocals and the atmosphere of this song. A fitting tribute to this activity. 9 out of 10. Things to do. Now this is my second favorite song here. It's like Green Day, but more heavier, I would say. Love the verses and especially the chorus. Things to do now, do things to be do do do. Great stuff. 10 out of 10. Always. Now this song 
I love the chorus, it's so memorable, it's so catchy, but the verses, I don't feel them that much. Also Andrew's vocals slap. 8 out of 10. Spoilers for play that's inside. Now this one is the other way around. I love the verses so much. Rap's vocals are actually great, but the chorus needs some work. 8 out of 10. And the final track, possible band names. I love the lyrics and the ideas for the band names, but this song is clearly the weakest one. Like. Yeah, nothing special, it's just decent. 6 out of 10. To sum it up, the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting group ability. Yeah, it's a great album, I enjoyed from beginning to the end. The highlights here are things to do, don't go, can be stopped, don't go to my house. Woo! Woo! Always and spoilers for play that's inside. While this is a joke album made in 10 hours, it's still better than half of the albums I've heard in my life, so that's kinda depressing. Me and my friend, we actually did a similar thing in July 2018. We recorded three albums in one day. It was a joke black metal project, it's still on YouTube, it's called Hyot Kutanoid, you can go check it out. But I wouldn't, because it's garbage, it's supposed to be garbage. But for some reason, some people actually listen to it. First October, on the other hand, is great music, even if it's just an experiment to see how creative can you be in one day. Celebrate the anniversary by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to now see you in my other videos. Also consider becoming a member of my channel, so I can make you an album review, or maybe a dub midi cover. That's all, bye!